Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Can you introduce yourself, please? Rani Al Masri. I live in North Carolina and I'm here visiting Michigan. Why are you here in this event today? To push the swing state of Michigan not to vote for Kamala Harris and to vote for Jill Stein. Why do you think this is having an effect on, on the community and the votes? I hope it'll have an effect. The issue is that Michigan has an effect on the entire country. If in Michigan, where we have the largest concentration of Arab Americans, Kamala Harris still wins, then it would be a defeat for all of us. And it would be a dishonor of our martyrs. So it is incumbent upon us all to encourage everyone we know in Michigan to vote against Kamala Harris as step one. And step two, so that we can count our votes, we need those votes to go for Jill Stein. Great. What do you want to say for the community today? To have hope and to know, first of all, that liberation anyway is not going to come from the United States. It's going to come from our people in Lebanon and Palestine. And second is to make sure that we vote the way we need to vote, which means not to vote blue and to vote green. And third, to know that after November, we will still be here and we will still be organizing for the liberation of our countries. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, an additional question. Uh, what would you say to the people that are uh, struggling in this very moment with the I wish I had advice for our people struggling with trauma. We're all struggling with trauma. For me personally, since the assassination of Hassan Nasrullah, I make sure every day to hear his words and I get strength from them. And I get strength from the fact that our resistance is continuing. The fact that despite the trauma, our men in Lebanon and our men in Gaza and our men in Yaffa even are still fighting. So I get my strength from them. And we shall continue. We have no choice. I mean, we can either break to the trauma and continue to, to mourn our beloveds forever, because we can never really mourn them. Or we can refuse to break and hold on to the spirit of resistance and honor our beloveds by liberating our lands. Thank you very much. You're welcome.